Hey guys, back here again with a new review of FM, the new album from uh, Long Beach rapper Vince Staples. Following the house rap record Big Fish Theory last year, which was one of my favorite rap albums of last year, he returns with the more summary FM. Before knowing of the album was even coming out, and just when he was kind of hinting towards new music, I, I was a little unsure of what to expect, because Big Fish Theory and the house rap style like that, he wasn't really full in on that in the past. Like, he's, he built his name by becoming a gangster rapper, uh, most notably on the, his uh, initial original album, Summertime 06. And he did have EDM influences, definitely, as he is a bit more EDM ridden in the roots of what his music sounds like, but Big Fish Theory was just a peak where he really just dove into that corner of his style. And so, coming out of that, I kind of figured he would try to do something different, as it, he doesn't really seem like he'd just keep going with the same thing after switching it up so drastically. And sure enough, just from the track list and the art, you could definitely tell something was up and something was different. With the, the cover obviously being way more summery with the beach, and then the track list having, just opening with the song, feels like summer. It opens with, uh, presumably, Vince, uh, flipping through some radio channels until it gets to Big Boy's Neighborhood. Starting on a more typical rap beat with the feature from Ty Dolla Sign, it was interesting to hear him kind of in a new realm, and especially one so drastically different from Big Fish Theory. However, after a few listens of the first track though, it just began to become bland to me. As It, it was interesting at first because it was something different that Vince was trying, but as I listened to it a few more times, it started to just sound like a lot of the other summer songs out there like feels like summer by childish gambino really the two i they could just be intertwined it really, it really doesn't matter it's not that incredibly unique of a song the beats do get a bit more interesting as the album moves on with tracks like don't get chipped fun and relay fun dives right into that summery feel with a really bubbly xylophone melody don't get chipped and relay kind of step back from that summery feel a little bit too and kind of going a bit more into the EDM style, pulling some synths from there that would be reminiscent of like a Trap Nation montage or something, but then stripped back and repurposed for a rap album to work well. However, on Relay, I just find the chorus on it to be incredibly hard to get to, with the him dragging on the ends of the lines on the chorus. It really isn't that common though outside of that instance where the rest of the album pretty much and the rest of his verses are pretty much just classic Vince with his bouncy flow and cadence. Lyrically, Vince signals a warning just right off the get-go on Feels Like Summer and that kind of builds up for, to theme everything else on the album that every, uh, every other song kind of ties a rope around and gets back to a little bit. And it's having a false sense of security in the summer in Long Beach, California, where it, it's not safe even though it's California and it may seem like it. And he kind of just goes through some of the issues of living in a poverty-ridden area in California on this track and a ton of others as well. And when the songs do kind of stray away from the summery feel a little bit, it does get pulled right back to with uh, the Big Boys Neighborhood coming in here and there throughout the album multiple times to kind of bring in that summery feel even with like a skit for a little like game show thing in the middle of the, the radio show. The tracks also flow together immensely well with uh, like don't get chipped going into relay there's no moment that it stops it just flows so well and uh, other songs they do stop but the connection between the two they each one set up perfectly so that it, the next song doesn't really sound like it did stop it's an it, it's just a nice mood it's a nice wave through it and at first i had a hard time kind of putting my finger on what i didn't like about it, it was, as i did enjoy like a good amount of the tracks but something just seemed off to me. Like, I, I just didn't enjoy it as much as, let's say, like, Big Fish Theory, which I thought was, like, an 8. At first, obviously, I recognized that it was 22 minutes and 11 songs. There isn't a lot on here with only, like I said, 11 songs. And after going through that and taking out the interludes and the skit, there's only 8 songs, and out of those, there's only 4 I like. And then thinking about it a bit more... I started to realize that out of those four other tracks, some of them kind of just feel like filler, and they're not either because this is there's no way it could be filler. It's 22 minutes, 
but it just doesn't live up to the quality of some of these other tracks do. Like No Bleedin' and Outside, I just both found like, every time I listen to it, I just forget what's going on at halfway through. And in a project like this, that's very detrimental to the overall, where the you can't really have any filler tracks when it's the length of like an EP. Vince does come through with an interesting and intriguing idea that is executed pretty well. However, due to not enough material and a few dull moments that really drag down the whole project considering there's not a lot to it outside of that, it, it makes me kind of sad as to what may have been. So in the end, I'm going to give this album a 6. So let me know what you guys saw of the review, what you thought of the album, and what I should review next. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that. Um, follow my Twitter, so follow my SoundCloud. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys next time. See ya. Bye.